Aloha, this is Terry Liu, Eyes Wide Open Productions Multimedia Outreach. We're here at Na Willy Willy, and today we're going to talk to Sarah McLellahan from Baluti, who's come here to Kauai to teach dance. Tell us about the dance that you teach. How did you become a dance teacher? Um, well, I started teaching dance classes about a year ago. I moved here from New York City, um, I want to say July 2019, and I started teaching at Kauai Athletic Club in March, but then, you know, COVID came, so that got shut down. However, when we opened back up in June, it was my opportunity to get back out there and make sure that I have everyone on this island yes. dancing. Yes. I was really happy to see some of those classes the other night. It was very exciting for me, especially since I'm a non-dancer, <laughs> to watch your students, how they follow you when they learn that choreography. Yes, I love them. Tell us about your classes. Where are they taught? How can people be in, join the class? Yes, yeah, so I teach here in Lahui at Kauai Athletic Club on, for now, Tuesdays and Thursdays. I also teach in Kaloa. I teach at Fit Lab Kauai on North Shore. I also teach at Playground 808 in Walua. Oh. Um, but my first location is in Lahui at Kauai Athletic Club. Aloha, my name is Tiara, uh, Tiara Wade. And I just wanted to introduce you to Sire Frambaluti's hip hop dance class. He is amazing. His energy is on point. Even when you feel like slump and you're down in the dumps and you take his class, he's gonna give you all the energy you need to have a killer day. Take his class. So what kind of students um, take your classes? Are they all ages? Yes, so I'm um, actually teach all ages from kids up until adults. Um, the category of students that I teach are mostly um, adults, females who you know who have kids, who work two jobs here on the island, some people even three jobs. So when they come to my class, it's really just a time for them to just be free and let go and have a lot of fun. Aloha, my name is Sharice. I've been taking Sarah's class for almost a year now. I come on Tuesday nights at 6.30. He has amazing, amazing vibes, positive, encouraging, motivating, and he gives you all the confidence that you need. <laughs> How did you get started in dancing when you were young? So actually, when I was young, I've always wanted to like, you know, take dance classes and be a part of a dance group and go to dance school. However, life is not that simple. Um, so I'm self-taught, you know, um, as a child, I would always just sit in front of the TV and copy the music videos uh -huh. from Sierra, Beyonce, Chris Brown and all of the other greats. And as I got older, um, I just used dance as a way to let go and be comfortable and kind of like find a space to love myself. You know, because I grew up in foster care, you know, going from home to home to home, music and dance was the only thing that actually kept me whole and allowed me to express myself that the parents that I was living with didn't allow me to or the attention that I wanted. I just wasn't getting it, so dance was that outlet for me. What's up, guys? My name is Judy Ann Guerrero. You can call me Judy if you want. And what I love most about this class is Sire because he is so an inspirational to everyone, including me when I first entered his classroom. And when I first danced, I felt so amazed because I've always loved to dance. And ever since I started dancing, I felt so free because I love to dance hip hop and R&B. So if you have a student like me who could never even learn to do the Macarena, how do you teach uh, beginners? So actually, that's my model. My model is anybody can learn how to dance. Um, when I first started my business, it was my job. You know, I was my own advertiser, so it was my job to go around and um, talk to people and convince them that I can like teach them how to dance. I get it every day. I can't dance. I don't know how to dance. I don't have rhythm. That's what I'm here for. So yes, I can teach anybody. It just takes a lot of time. It takes effort and it takes consistency. Right, you gotta punch, 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 boom. And there's a lot of bouncing throughout the whole song. All right. Let's start from the beginning. From the beginning. What's the structure of your classes usually? So the structure of my class, I usually start with a stretch. 
we stretch for about 10 to 15 minutes because you know we're working out we're doing a bunch of cardio and um i really work my clients you know um a lot of people see my videos and they're like oh my gosh this class looks so hard it's so intense but it's really because i'm working them super hard however the dance moves aren't as hard as i'm working them so what i do is we start stretching and sometimes i don't always know what i'm going to teach because i get different clientele every single week so i don't know who's coming so while we're stretching i like to scan the room i look at what ages is there who who's been coming, are there regulars there, are there new people there, and then that's how I decide what dance I'm going to take, I mean teach. So I like to cater to the actual audience. Hi everyone, it's Tiffany Sigushio, I'm here at Sire's Dance Class. I love Sire's Dance Class because one, the teacher is super, super personable, and I love the energy, and it's a way for me to express myself. Well Sire, I, I see the passion in your dance and your teaching dance. What other kinds of creative expression do you engage yourself? Outside of dance, um, I do some modeling. I love modeling. Um, I also study acting in New York and hope to, you know, continue acting. Um, I wrote a couple of, I wrote a couple of poems. I wrote some TV shows. I want to write a TV show about my life. So music, acting, dancing, all of the creative things. I want to do all of it. Hi, my name is Kristen, and I enjoy Cyrus Cross because it's a lot of high energy. He makes it a lot of fun, and I always have a good time when I'm there. Cyrus, so, thanks a lot. We really enjoyed talking to you today and learning all about what you're doing here. We look forward to coming back and, and seeing what other things that you're going to be doing now that you're here in Kauai. Yes, yes. Thank you so much for having me. I truly appreciate Eyes Wide, Eyes Wide Open production. It's honestly been a blessing to have Mel Bell Gray and yourself reach out to me to do this interview and to do this segment. This is Terry Lou, Eyes Wide Open Productions Multimedia Outreach. Thank you.